welcome back to the channel guys I know it's been a while but you know things happen life goes on and life happens so you gotta just work with it right um, so for those of you that follow my snapchat my Instagram you guys would know exactly what we're doing today for those of you that don't do and you can find out about the mods that are coming to the Duramax uh, a couple days in advance so today's mod is a little bit different uh, it's something's gonna take a little bit, so it might be a two, three part video. If I can squeeze it all into one without making it too long, then uh, I'll do that. But if not, then uh, a two, three part video, I guess we'll have to do, right? So, this mod is something that I have been really just back and forth on. I, I haven't known what to do. Um, I've There's been so many different ways I could have come about this mod, but you know, I chose what I chose, and here's why. When you build a vehicle, when you build a car, when you create a vehicle, something like that, anything, you know, for example, I've seen people do wide bodies with um, foam insulation and stuff like that instead of actually doing a legit body kit, you know, but that's just the way they want to go about it. You know, they want to make it that way. That's what makes their car unique, you know, and some of those cars, you won't even tell the difference between a wide body kit, bought at a $2,000, $3,000 price compared to going and buying and shaping out some foam insulation. Um, as for this mod on this particular truck, you know, like I, like I said, if you if you follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram, you most likely will get an update of what's coming just that much faster. Um, I've seen a lot of people do it to their Silverados, to their Duramaxes, to their 1500s, 2500s. Um, but I have yet to see it done the way I ha I'm going to do it. And the reason that I'm doing it just that much more different is because I don't want to do what everybody else is doing, especially on, not on this mod. You know, if I want this truck to stand out, I want this truck to stand out. I want them to wonder why in the world I would do it that way. And if it looks good, then cool compliments. If not, people are going to hate it anyways, no matter how much, how good it looks or how bad it looks, that people are just not going to like it. For the simple fact that it's different they're not used to it you know but um i've been like i said i've been considering multiple options about this mod and well three three or four in general um but um i ended up going with this route because first of all i got a really good deal on it second of all um it's just gonna be that much more different and you'll understand whenever you see the mod um until then guys i mean let's I'm going to run over to Home Depot, get some things from there that we need for this mod, and we will get back to the house and start tearing apart the truck. Alrighty guys, so we have made it back to the house. and Okay, let me just show you what we got going on before I get a little too carried away with what we might or might not do. Okay, so before... I get into this. I, I, I want to clarify that I am just, this is the first time I'm ever going to do something like this, especially this crazy. Uh, to me, it's crazy because I've never done it. So it's going to be completely different and I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So here you have it. 2017 GMC Sierra 2500 HD uh, bumper. Uh, I went with this because all the other ones I kept finding for the Silverados were well i've seen a lot of people do the silverado ones and for me i actually just wanted to do something a little different so when i was presented with this one which is in great shape uh apparently the guy i worked in the oil field only used it it's got a little little scratch looking thing right here but not gonna worry me because it might get color matched later on down the road so the guy who worked at the oil field said um he didn't want stock bumper. He wanted a uh, HD or a ranch hand bumper, heavy duty bumper. So he decided to come in and pull this off about a week after he bought the truck and uh, gave it to me for a really good price. Actually a steal. I can't believe I actually got it for the price that I got it for. Um, it didn't come with fog lights, obviously not, you know, but luckily this one has the cutouts already for the fog lights. So I can just go ahead and order some. And slap those in there. It's even got the brackets and everything on the back side. Uh, we'll flip it over real quick. That's not a light bumper. But. So the things that I feel are going to be the biggest challenge. Let me lay it down gently. 
So the things that I feel are going to be the biggest challenge and probably will make this job a lot more difficult are going to be brackets. So bracket mounting points right here. Um, obviously some right here. And the headlights clearing this distance. I'm hoping that this distance is the same measurement as what's on my truck. And I did go buy a Dremel. I bought a couple extra things, as you could tell. Um, I bought a cardboard box, tape, and some cutting wheels. And that's because we're going to have to cut the grill to shape out to this right here. I already measured out. It's going to be about two, three inches in on each side. Now we're going to have to cut the grill. And I think it's going to be able to notch it enough to... Whoa. Notch it enough to where it doesn't... Um, cut away completely at the grill so let me go ahead and get this drug outside we'll go ahead and look at it outside in daylight and we'll see exactly what we're working with so we can start pulling off that uh, old bumper and start working on this one so like i said it might take me a couple days but um yeah not, not too bad so far it's not looking like too much of a task but when i said i had many options it was between a 13 or 2000 and what is it 10 to 13 front end swap, a 2015 Silverado HD bumper swap, 2017 Sierra. I've seen the Silverado swap to Silverado, but never Sierra swap to Silverado. So we're going to see how this works out for us. And hopefully I don't screw anything bad to the point where I got to go and buy everything back for the Duramax again. So let's get this out there and we'll start seeing what we got to tear apart. So let's go down underneath the truck and see what we have to tear apart. First thing right off the bat, what I'm seeing is we'll probably have to take off this bolt from up top. The best thing I can think of doing by that is pull the grill and get an impact. We'll grab a wrench and grab an impact and then pull it off from here. So let's go ahead and pull off the grill. We're going to have to pull it off anyways. And we'll come in here with the wrench and the impact and see. If we can take off those two bolts right here and then pull that off. These I want to leave just in case they can mount up to right to that point. Then I don't have to readjust anything. So let's go ahead and do that and then I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, so we got the grill completely off nothing too bad a couple bolts up here it's had to take off the plastic cover might clean this up real nice before we put everything back together maybe paint all these brackets back again especially this one. i don't like this one not being painted but so we're gonna go ahead and grab the impact stick it up here hopefully we can hold it with the wrench up here and then we'll go to the bottom and uh should just pull the bump right off oh so we gotta take off those fog lights so let me grab the impact out and stretch everything out and we'll start Turn apart the bumper. All right, guys, so we completely got this bumper off. Wasn't too bad, nothing too major. I'm gonna go ahead and push it forward. We'll see what we got going on underneath. So as you can tell, that's for the brackets right there for this bumper. It is a lot different than the uh, Sierra one. Obviously, you know, there's going to be some changes throughout time and stuff like that. We're just going to see where that Sierra one ends up at, where it lands, how it looks, and then we're going to go ahead and go from there. I'm going to measure out this one, just kind of see if it's going to be in the ballpark. If not, we're just going to have to just work with it one way or another. So let me do all that real quick, and I'll be back with you. Yeah, so we got somewhat fitted up as you can tell there's a pretty decent gap right here but we have run into our first problem 
that little dude right in there. Um, little plastic piece can be cut out. It just looks like it's just like a little guard for something. Um, so nothing major. Might just cut it out of the way and keep moving. Um, as for the rest, we're looking a little bit off. You see, that's that's where it, this one bolts up right here, and this is where our bolt holes are at. Not sure if the brackets are a little different or if the frame on a GMC Sierra, a newer one, are just that much in because it's the same thing over here. You see that? Not a major problem. We're going to try to pull these brackets off or see if we can bolt up those brackets to this bumper and see kind of if we can line them up and see what we can do. So I kind of got it somewhat fit up. I had to take a little bit of a break because I ended up popping my knee out of place. Some of y'all don't know, I do have a torn ACL, so sorry about the wind. I do have a torn ACL, so sometimes popping the knee out happens and I just got to walk it off. And Now i got my knee brace back on and uh, we're going to go ahead and keep continuing. But before I continue, I went ahead and picked up the canopy because it's going to get hot and I'm going to be out here mostly all day. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that set up real quick and then I'll get back into Truck. Okay, so we got the canopy completely over the truck as you can tell we got some shade finally So if you can see we have our little 110 welder here haven't pulled this thing out in a couple in a good while Not the best welder, but it's gonna hold for now. It's gonna do for now until I can get to a better shop to weld What we're gonna end up having to do is actually cut that tab and move it over to the well to the left so towards the passenger side and this one towards the opposite direction going that way and then we're gonna have to fabricate ourselves some tabs that will come out to about right here and I'll give or take some right here drill a hole so it can line up with that so this can be our mounting point from now on and it'll bolts up just like the factory one but at the same time it's going to be easy to slide in and slide out. Now, the only thing that scares me about this, if it doesn't work, these brackets are like 150 bucks a piece, and I don't really want to tear that up. So it's either I've already spent this much money on getting this going, so I might as well just go ahead and uh, go through with it, right? So we're going to measure out the bumper, make sure that where it's at is where we want it. I got a little bit of extra rope. That's going to be my best method of being able to hold it in place wherever I need it up until I'm ready to measure it out and start fabricating. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do all of that right now and I'll kind of walk you through how I did it. I don't want to try to hold a camera and keep up with the camera at the same time trying to figure out how to do all of this. So I'm going to just do this in like little motions and I'll give you the details after I get it done. I just want to make sure it works before I get it done and once I find out whether it works or not, um, I can come back and let you know um, whether or not it did work or it didn't work. Now, the only thing that I'm not liking about this, Sierras have their style of truck kind of curves in and it shoots back about right here. As for Silverado's, it's kind of more squared off. Sierras are a lot more round. So this isn't going to stay like this. It's actually going to tuck in. But the only problem I see is this little spot right here. This little spot's not going to line up. Now, eventually, I will probably, whenever it's time to get it, get the truck painted, I might have the body shop come in and cut right here. But as you can tell from this end, you know, we'll have to pull out just a little bit about right there. It's just not going to sit as good as I'd like for it to, but, you know, it's going to it's gonna work. It's going to look nice. Once it's on, it's going to look kind of like it was meant to be, but obviously everybody's going to know it's not meant to be on this truck alone. So so let's keep working on it. Um, we'll see how far we can get to today, and then we'll carry on some more tomorrow. I'm in pain. As you can tell, kind of fight with the bumper. Bumper obviously won. Got a broken nail. It's not the first one. Got another one right there, but that's painful. And knowing that I still have to do all of this just to get that on this, with this, ah, it hurts. But I'm not gonna quit. If I quit now, I won't do it later. If I don't do it later, it'll never get done. So 
I keep working. Just a little quick update. Had to take a little breather, a little break. I was so upset, and frustrated, and mad. We'll get it done. That'll get done. You won't win. Ow. Alrighty guys, next day, and sorry about not finishing it up in one day, but we had, uh, I had some things come up and I had, uh, had to take care of that first, so it's on. Not officially put on, but it's, it is on. Oh, I ended up shutting the hood all the way. I want to show you a couple things on it that are going to bother me. One of them being this little ledge right here. It's just not going to line up with the fender evenly like the normal bumper would. It's like that on both sides. I'll show you this way. Right here. And the other thing will be these corners. Check out how this headlight comes in. Bows out. The, the, the bumper bows out just a little bit. But it ends up lining up almost evenly with the truck. It does need a little bit of tweaking. But again, we could always slide it over. There's enough room with these brackets to slide it over. Had my center line marked on the truck just to kind of get an idea of where we needed to be. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull everything off. Uh, unbolt it. It's hanging in there by itself right now. Uh, it's not completely welded up, and I'll show you what I mean by it's not completely welded up. What I ended up having to do, as you can tell, these are brackets that were for that bumper. But I'll get into details with that in a little bit. Let me go ahead and pull this off, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about what happened. All right, so here's what I ended up doing. I cut, let me grab these pieces. This piece, and I might do this piece. Not sure yet. So if y'all remember, these old brackets used to be eh, something like that maybe other way around yeah something like that and like that i don't know that's kind of how the old bracket used to look like that was for that bumper what i ended up doing was i just cut it off to make just this little piece the reason being was because this would cause the bumper to push out and this would not allow it to set in exactly where it needed to be um so I ended up just cutting this, using this as the regular bracket. So eventually what I just need, essentially what I just needed to do was just fit up the bumper, put these brackets into place. I tacked it while it was on the truck. Of course, I disconnected the batteries, but uh, just a couple of tacks. I had a little tiny crappy welder here that's just helped me. It'll probably help me run one little pass here, here just to hold it into place while I find some time to go get a good welder and weld some good passes on there, maybe run a good pass in here and in here. Um, ended up notching out what was all of this piece of metal right here. It's about right around here. And then there was one more that was right here. And then of course the one that was right here and ran up to right here, which are uh, those pieces right there. I'm gonna show you can see those, but uh, Ended up cutting those out and now the great thing about this is the tow hooks will actually fit perfectly in there and all of this is just going to get coated, painted, cleaned up, coated, painted and once it's welded up and everything I'll be able to put everything back together and start working on notching the grill out. Uh, eventually I do want to order the uh, 2013 uh, LTZ grill with the chrome inserts and color matched on the outside and but first I'll practice on notching that one into pieces and then throwing it on here as well so um, if you're wondering what the cardboard box is that's just gonna be a mock-up of uh, that grill once I lay the bumper back where it needs to go only thing I need to do now is just run a pass here pass here um, maybe up top maybe up top I'll just wait till I get some good uh, 7018 rod, something thicker. Uh, I would use MIG, but unfortunately, I don't know anybody that has a MIG welder. Unless I take it to work, but I'm not going to pull a whole bumper into work and try to weld it in there. So um, let me go ahead and get these nice and cleaned up. Then I'll get them welded, and then we'll throw it back up on the truck and see see how she fits up. Shouldn't be too hard. I pulled her on and off about six seven times already making sure that everything was gonna bolt right up and line right up as soon as I bolted it in there 
So, so far, everything seems good. Just this end was playing with me a little bit. Eventually, what I might do is I might grab a strap from this corner to that corner and kind of bring it in just a little bit because they seem to flare out just a little bit. So, I might just do that just to bend those corners in a slight hair. Nothing too major. Um, just a little bit of a my perfectionist side of me coming out. And, you know, of course, I'm going to clean all these little tacks up and everything. And these were really good help to put a strap through them and hang it in there and I use this little hole right here to run a rope and a rope through here just to keep that back end pulling in so as you can tell I have a couple ropes in there those were mainly just to when, when you would put the bumper on there you would be able to hang it in there but it'd be hanging in there like kind of like at this angle so that rope you'd put it down towards the bottom side and you'd pull it and then and then there was one that would lift it all up so that's what kind of helped me fit it up. Once I had it fitted up, um, I ended up just going in there, just tacking it right there where it was. I didn't move it. I didn't try to measure anything out. I just tacked it. I just went for it and put a little bit of tack in there and uh, seemed to work out pretty good. So uh, here in a little bit, I might go grab me some lunch with my girlfriend. And what I'm probably going to go do is uh, have a grinder uh, right over there. Probably going to clean up all that underside right now that I have the bumper off and really coat it in make it look nice and fresh again and you know that's might as well right now that i have the chance and the time um other than that guys i mean the install is pretty basic it's the first time i've ever done this so it it's like kind of tearing apart truck you know you tear it apart one time and uh it's difficult but the next time around you know whenever i do hub bearing cv joints on one side it takes me like an hour and a half to figure it out go to the other side it takes me like 20 30 minutes and cake but um so yeah let me go ahead and run these root passes and then we'll get back to putting it back into place excited to get this project done I'm tired of it this is the only part I'm not liking this little spot right here as for the other side it's the same exact way obviously if I evened it out say I'm two fingers um, other than that I flushed it up right here swings out flushed up with the corner of the lens same over here corner of the lens swings out flushed up what can I do? Enjoy it. It's going to look a lot different. A lot better coming down the road. Believe me, once it's all put together, it's going to look a lot better. So, we're going to grab that. plan with the cardboard box is to lay it over the grill. And cut it out to the exact shape of the grill. Mark off your clip points. Down here, down here, down here, up here. And then here, of course here. Um, lay it in here, come in here with the Sharpie and mark off all the cut points that we need to cut. Mainly you're going to start with these corners to get these corners nice and done. And then we'll see how the rest of it goes in. Trim a little bit by little bit, make it, make it happen. So I right, guess so let's go in there and see what we can do. See what kind of damage we can do. Alrighty guys, so we completely finished up the project. I know it's been a heck of a day. I haven't really had much time to sit back and just breathe a little bit. Um, so I'm going to sit down for a little bit and talk. Uh, Alright, so overall on this project, um, you got to give it up. It's the first time I've ever done this and I've never seen it done by anybody else. 
Um, it was a major pain. It was a lot of guessing, questioning, wondering. What ifs, what if I don't, what if I do, maybes. Um, and most of the time I was just nervous, scared. I didn't know. I didn't know if, um, if I did one wrong thing, whether I could screw up the final result of this project or not. There's a couple things I wish I wouldn't have done, and there's a couple things I'm glad that I did. And uh, I'll show you at the end of this video. Um, one of the things that I wish that I would have done differently is really measured out the spec on this grill, on this bumper. Um, seeing where it was going to land, seeing what it was going to do. For the reason being that it's not where I want it to be. Is it fixable? Possibly. Is it going to cost more money? Most likely. Would it have been cheaper to do a 2013 print and swap? Definitely. Long run, yes. For the moment being, no. Um, there is some things on this that I'm going to look at. I'm just going to cringe. But looking back at it, I think it was a good experience. It's uh, It was a great experience. Um, would I do it again? I don't know. I'm sure if I did, it'd go a lot faster and all the what ifs and stuff would just fly out the window because I'd already know the answer to those. And um, Like I said, they're still fixed to a bunch of these things and you can tell. <laughs> you can tell that this thing is very far off and wrong and uh, I'm not embarrassed. Uh, I'm a little sad that I'm not sure if I made the truck look any better or any worse in this case. Uh, I guess that's something that y'all can tell me down below. Uh, my biggest thing is what are people going to say? What are people going to think? Are people going to enjoy it? People going to people going to like it? Um, those are my biggest what ifs or questions, I guess you could say. Um, I might get a lot of hate, I might get a lot of like, oh, you know, he didn't do this right, or this happened right, but a lot of those people will never understand why, why it came out the way it did, why it didn't come out the way I was hoping it would, and um, all I've got to say to that is, you live and you learn. You know, made a couple mistakes along the way, but they're fixable. It's in the end. It's just a truck. In the end, I could always go back to to what I had if I wanted to, or I could change it back up completely if I wanted to. In the end, for a lot of the viewers out there are going to know and understand that uh, I took the risk. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't take a risk like this, and I'm not. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm actually, kind of happy, kind of proud. One of the biggest projects I've taken up on this truck, uh, especially by myself. And, it came out of these. Um, let me show you the truck and then I'll get you in so, I'm going to go the five biggest things that I wish I would have done differently. One of them, just this corner, really measuring out this corner, seeing how it was going to lay out in the truck. Not a big fan of like the big old fold and then it goes back in. A lot of people might like it, might say it looks a little different. Second, this little side right here. Like I said, I really wish I would have known what I was getting myself into at first, but you know, it is what it is. Third, the grill cut out. Terrible grill cut out, not perfect, not straight. Fixable? Yes. Fourth, the way the grill sticks out, right here, compared to where the bumper ends, or tucks in, I guess you could say. Plus, the not least, the grill gap, right here, like a, almost a one inch grill gap all the way through, so, but, you know, I guess that's
you end up landing all of these things and you end up realizing a couple things. I guess you could throw the second or last one there. Just the way you can see back behind the door right here, this little gap right down. What are my solutions to fixing it? I'm sure eventually we'll probably get a paint job. So, cut it. Paint it. Truck will probably eventually get a new custom grill. So, make my own. I obviously was able to do most of this, so it should be too much of a struggle to build my own custom grill. So far, the only idea I have is grab a flat strap, shape it to this shape, come in, shape it back up, create just a nice little square frame, come all the way through, create brackets that will come back, bolt up everything, clips, and put mesh all the way through. Maybe. If not, just have the grill a little bit custom, made, redone. But till then, leave it like that. How am I gonna fix this gap? A one inch LED bar all the way across. And it kind of slants in just a little bit, goes down and it slants right back up. So, I'll tuck it in kind of behind there, just a little bit behind there. Or I might stick it out just enough. Not sure yet, I guess we'll see. We'll see whenever we get to that point. That'll take care of that and this. Right here, if I can't do much about right here, what I'll eventually do is just get some trim, some old door trim, and just seal it off real nice. Real nice. Same thing over here. Maybe notch it out a little bit more, seal it off. But, um, but yeah, that's really not bad. Not bad for the first one, as you can tell, I'm extremely tired. So done with this project. Um, all that's left to do now is uh, go back through. I'm going to repaint all this, recoat it, clean it off real nice, recoat it. Same as the support grill support bar right here. And everything that I notched down in there. Um, going to have to pull the bumper back off and repaint everything. Not repaint it, but at least recode it. Make sure that it's gonna look pretty good, pretty decent. There's a lot of different things I can go about doing to make this truck look a lot different, especially on the front end. But I think I'm gonna leave that up to y'all. Y'all go ahead and tell me exactly what y'all believe should be done, what might be the best route or way of, um, just making this front end stand out just a little bit more. I know that a lot of people don't like that 2007 to 2010 uh, front end. I didn't, and I wanted to stand out a little bit different. Now I'm definitely going to stand out, and I get a lot of hate for it, but you know, it's what it, it is what it is. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, y'all go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you like the video. If not, then leave a comment. Let me know what your opinions were. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. There will be more content coming up. So I got to do a lot of steering work on the truck as well. So that's in the near future. Got a couple parts in the little shed over there. So I'm um, just waiting around to find a good weekend to do that. And I was just really excited to do this one. So, so. let's get a little far back view. Old bumper, 1500 LTZ trail. Not bad. Not bad. Alrighty guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.